loud noises. All right, time for a short video on subtask and Todoist. I'm gonna talk and show how to do this on the browser, but it's really the same operations on mobile. And instead of clicking, you're going to long tap or press and hold, um, and then you can move things that, that way. Of course, there's some different ways to do, go about this. So let's talk about subtasks and how to get those going. So on the screen here, you can see we have a picture task in here. We've got a fun picture of my cat uh, hiding out between pictures and plants. And we can add a subtask just by clicking there and say, this is another task. But what if you're not already in there and you're wanting to create a task uh, as a subtask? Well, it turns out if you are in the today view, you actually can't do this. So for example, we have subtask two and we try to put that in. This isn't gonna work. You're basically gonna see where you can postpone to tomorrow, but you can't really do anything. So if you're anywhere else here, for example, if we come into inbox, you can now drag that over and make it a sub subtask or a subtask and that works just fine. So let's click, drag, bring that back out. And we can also do this in projects. You can see we've already set these out. I'm gonna make another one here as an example. And it comes up as a task, but again, you can click and drag and make it a subtask or a sub subtask. And that is all you need to do. So as I mentioned in uh, the beginning of the video, if you want to do this on mobile, you just have to click or tap and hold, and then you can move it around. But you need to make sure that you are in inbox, projects, whatever that might be, but you cannot do it in today. If you are in the today view, and for whatever reason, you don't want to leave that view and you want to make a subtask, you need to go into the subtask and create it here by clicking and naming it. That is how you do that. So hopefully that's helpful. If you have any questions about Todoist and subtask, leave me a comment. I'll be happy to get back to you.